Behind every flawless app you see, there is a world of architecture, testing, monitoring and security measures. Today let's have a look at the very high level architecture of a production ready app. Our first key area is the CI-CD pipeline, continuous integration and continuous deployment. This ensures that our code goes from the repository, through a series of tests and pipeline checks, and onto the production server without any manual intervention. It's configured with platforms like Jenkins or GitHub Actions for automating our deployment processes. And once our app is in production, it has to handle lots of user requests. This is managed by our load balancers and reverse proxies like Nginx. They ensure that the user requests are evenly distributed across multiple servers, maintaining a smooth user experience even during traffic spikes. Our server is also going to need to store data, for that we also have an external storage server that is not running on the same production server, instead it's connected over a network. Our servers might also be communicating with other servers as well, and we can have many such services, not just one. To ensure everything runs smoothly, we have logging and monitoring systems, keeping a keen eye on every micro-interaction, or storing logs and analyzing data. It's standard practice to store logs on external services, often outside of our primary production server. For the backend, tools like PM2 can be used for logging and monitoring. On the frontend, platforms like Sentry can be used to capture and report errors in real time. And when things don't go as planned, meaning our logging systems detect failing requests or anomalies, first it enforces our alerting service. After that, push notifications are sent to keep users informed, from generic something went wrong to specific payment failed. Effective communication ensures users aren't left in the dark, fostering trust and reliability. And modern practice is to integrate these alerts directly into platforms we commonly use, like Slack. Imagine a dedicated Slack channel where alerts pop up at the moment an issue arises. This allows developers to jump into the action almost instantly, addressing the root cause before it escalates. And after that, developers have to debug the issue. First and foremost, the issue needs to be identified. Those logs we spoke about earlier, they are our first port of call. Developers go through them searching for patterns or anomalies that could point to the source of the problem. After that, it needs to be replicated in a safe environment. The golden rule is to never debug directly in the production environment. Instead, developers recreate the issue in a staging or test environment. This ensures users don't get affected by the debugging process. Then, developers use tools to peer into the running application and start debugging. Once the bug is fixed, a hotfix is rolled out. This is a quick temporary fix, designed to get things running again. It's like a patch before a more permanent solution can be implemented. If you're curious about how to scale these architectures to handle even larger user bases and even more complex systems, make sure to click on this video where we dive into the system design concepts and scaling mechanisms.